you are at Lake Rant, where I rant about whatever my $15 a month plus patrons want me to rant about. You can get one of these by being one of those. This one's for Arter Hauser, who says, Rant about Aroguro, the art style, your favorite Aroguro artists, Muzan A, etc. I had to actually look up what Muzan A was, which is the old, uh, the old Japanese woodcut prints of, uh, you know, I guess a violent fucking sexual content. I mean, I'm looking at one, and yeah, I would say that's Aroguro. I'm pretty new to the actual term Aroguro. Um, you know, I've known about Guro, just like violent sexual content for a long time. Um, but the, the particular style as, like, originated in, you know, I guess goes back as far as these Muzane prints, but, like, the stuff that is, is referenced with regards to... Um, Edogawa Ranpo and uh, the people who he influenced and like the art movements throughout the uh, the 20th century. Um, that's something I'm new to and I'm very fascinated with it because of the fact that I mean I like erotic grotesque works. I like what they they sort of speak about humanity. It's it's like you're facing um, just facing down the the darkest most disturbed parts of your own psyche and coming out the other side being like, yeah, I can appreciate that these are parts of human nature um, that we have kind of, you know, well, not that we've bested, but that at least I can look at and say like, oh, I understand the way that things are, the the way that the, you know, the deepest, darkest parts, the, in the worst instincts of the human mind function and uh, can take pride in the fact that I've conquered these things and I'm able to live as a civilized human being, you know? Um, so, yeah, like, even though I have a lot of exposure to Guro, especially through just artwork I've seen online and manga and stuff like that, um, like, seeing the horrors of the malformed man, the movie, at Otakon was really what, like, got me interested in it as a as a bigger thing, I, you know, that was only a couple months ago. Um, but that movie, which is an adaptation of an Edogawa Ranpo book, if I'm not mistaken, um, and directed by a guy who was like a, it's like a movie from the 70s, and it was incredibly fucking trippy and bizarre, and really like nothing else I'd ever seen. But uh, apparently that director was a major influence or, or mentor to Takashi Miike, who I, you know, kind of, I grew up surrounded with stuff like Takashi Miike, stuff like, uh, you know, even Berserk, I would consider to be some level of, like, an Eroguro work, stuff like uh, Blade of the Immortal. Um, so, like, the influences of it have always been in the stuff that's, like, tangentially related to my own interests, but, like, um, I'm not much of a horror guy. I'm not much of one for just, like, gore for the sake of itself, but particularly the weird... Um, erotic, trippy forms of Guro, like that, the way that it's, it's not about like the, the violence in an instantaneous cathartic sense, but more about, uh, you know, violence as it, as it pertains to the, the proclivities of people, you know, like the, the, the enjoyment of it, not in the immediate sense, but in a deeper seated kind of way, you know, um, yeah, I'd like to explore more of my feelings on this in the future. Like, uh, this rant comes at a time when um, when I'm kind of newly trying to sort out all my feelings about this genre and wanting to get much deeper into it. Uh, oh, also, Shintaro Kago. Like, even though Eroguro was not, like, a, a term I was as familiar with, like, I became a huge fan of him last year. I made that video, you know, Respect the Greats, um, the rap video... And uh, I love Shintaro Kago, and, like, looking at his art has increasingly, like, desens both desensitized me to be able to, like, handle the crazy Eroguro shit, but also um, has made me way more interested. So if I had to say who my favorite Eroguro artist is right now, it would be Shintaro Kago uh, easily. Um, he's one of my favorite just artists and creatives in general. I, I just love the shit he comes up with. But, um, you know... Uh, I want to find more. I want to learn more. I want to have more specific tastes, more well-thought-out opinions on the subject. And I hope to dive down that rabbit hole further and further. I want to do more research. I have a big video that I've written that I hope to edit sometime soon um, about Ninja Resurrection and, and the history of how that ties into Eroguro history 
And that's like, again, me like getting a little deeper into it. But I have to eventually read all these fucking old books and look into it in a, in a deeper way. When I do that, I'll be sure to let everybody know.